Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Here's a quick look at the Ellie Hear Alpha. These are smart hearing aids, which I know is kind of a weird category to take a look at, but hear me out. The technology I think is kind of interesting, so I wanted to touch on briefly in this video. Hearing aids are obviously nothing new, and they're more kind of crossing the boundaries of being a medical grade product rather than truly an everyday consumer grade item. However, on these newer generation pairs that have been popping up lately, it really reminds me of something like a pair of wireless TWS buds that have something like an audio transparency mode. There's that function even on Apple's AirPods where it uses the microphone to amplify the noise around you. You can hear your surroundings a little bit better through that amplification. These have a very similar functionality to them. Plus they also connect using Bluetooth now to a companion app. And again, like wireless buds, you can listen to music with them as well since they have built-in Bluetooth. So that boundary between wireless buds and dedicated hearing aids per se is getting, I think, more and more narrow. But areas where hearing aids have to be more precise in would be the tuning and the sensitivity, I would imagine. Because if something is amplified too much, it just sounds screechy and uncomfortable. So you have to make it at least a little bit more obvious than some of the transparency modes on wireless buds, which can be really fair at best and perhaps the strength is not strong enough for folks that really do have more severe hearing loss, but ultimately it can't be an uncomfortable experience either. But kind of interesting that they're fusing those categories together. Anyways, packaging here is quite simple. So this one here does have some noise cancellation functions as well, it claims. Again, very similar to TWS Buds, it can block out some of the background noises like A and C. This one here having a companion app for both iOS as well as Android. Let's take a quick look here at the box. It is pretty well presented. It has a charging case, again, very similar to wireless buds. It's pretty well constructed, has a nice heft to it, made out of this matte texture and a glossy lid, and then just charges using USB type C, but there is no Qi wireless charging on this case. And when you pop open the door, they will automatically turn on to life. Again, super similar to wireless buds, and they even have a battery indicator on both the left and right sides. The casing here will be sufficient for about two to three weeks of usage before you really have to recharge it again when you're on the road, which is certainly good. And once you pop them out, again, they're held into place magnetically, they instantly start to turn on, the microphones start to do their job. You hear a little bit of an interference already, but thankfully, again, the intensity is completely customizable using their companion app and the kind of tuning algorithms that you have there. They are though, by comparison, a lot lighter than regular TWS buds and perhaps more comfy because they have to be worn more continuously 24-7. There's a small memory wire that is then linked to the drivers that then stick in using these silicon tips, which by the way don't seem to be adjustable, so they are kind of one size fit all in that sense. And then all the other modules, including the battery as well as the Bluetooth chip, are just inside of this part that sits on the outside of your ear. So it's kind of like a pair of wireless IEMs. But the part that actually fits in is super lightweight and as a result it's just a bit more comfy than normal compared to regular AirPods or Air Dots, for example, from Xiaomi. And then located on the arm here are multiple microphones for picking up sound, as well as a simple kind of volume dial here, and they can also be pressed inwards as well. Taking a look at the companion app next, once you are connected by Bluetooth settings, you'll be able to trigger a couple different scenarios, including general usage versus if you're in a restaurant, it will try to dampen some of the kind of background chatter, for example, outdoor. It will repress some of the wind noise versus TV, focusing a little bit more on vocals. The app here will also show the left on the right side, the intensity that is currently being set at. If you want to magnify more of the sound versus being at a more quiet level, this can be manually adjusted up and down as well, as opposed to the volume rocker built onto the device itself. You can also tap on this to completely mute all sound and also resume, and then tap on here for wind noise reduction, which also goes from a mild to a stronger intensity as well. So again, using very similar processing, but just cranking up the sensitivity really on a pair of buds like these. And there's also a speech focus mode as well that will just emphasize again, words being spoken, dampening out other murmurs as well as music in the background. And just like wireless buds, they do have voice prompts. So every time that you're changing the profile, they will kind of speak to you. Plus you are able to see the battery percentage remaining both on the left and on the right side. Aside from this, you're also able to go into the music EQ mode. So if you are connected to your phone and just listening to music, you can crank up things like bass, mids, and trebles, uh, both on the left and the right sides can be done independent of one another, in addition to a real-time listening mode, which is a little closer to transcription functions that we have seen on products like Pixel phones. So that's just been a quick look at these Ellie Hear Alphas. I think more than anything, it just shows that, again, the categories between TWS wireless buds and these hearing aids are just getting closer and closer together. In my opinion, it's just a slightly more well-optimized version of transparency audio on 
around just wireless regular buds, uh, but now they're just packaging it as something a little different, slightly improved ergonomics though for longer term wearing. And overall kind of an interesting trend in terms of this development. You can check out more details if you're interested in these in the links below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.